Now, when an arsonist targeted an historic parish church, uh, many worshippers feared the worst. The scale of destruction was immense and the task of rebuilding it was in serious doubt. How things have changed. It's cost more than £5 million so far and a new look church is rapidly taking shape. Keith Wilkinson has the story. It was a fire that stripped the parish church of virtually everything except its outer shell. Back in 2007, it was hard to imagine that it could be saved. 150 years of history in ruins. But now it's starting to rise again. With signs of the modern twist, it's being given for its new life as a place of worship in the 21st century. Later this year, St Barnabas in Erdington, Birmingham, will be reborn and looking something like this. What a wonderful opportunity to try and provide a church that's relevant for today because, all right, the other church was very beautiful, but it was built for 100, 150 years ago for the people then. What we're providing now is a space for the community to be able to use it as much as we use it. We're looking for now the, the people who are out there wanting to engage with us, individuals or organisations with ideas that, where they haven't got a venue to sort through those ideas, chat through them, have conversations, but a whole manner of different uh, uses that this building can provide. Police believe it was a fire started by an arsonist. The culprit has never been caught. Well, it was really sad um, and tragic event when the arsonist um, decided to burn down the building. I think people, uh, now, now it's being rebuilt, um, can see some forgiveness um, and appreciation of that at least something good's come out of it. Um, and this is a real silver lining. I mean, it's opening up the church in a way that just wasn't um, done before, making the church much more accessible to the local community. In an ideal world, they'd like to have Christmas here this year, but as you can see, there's still a great deal to be done. Their first Christmas in six years. Keith Wilkinson, Central Tonight.